What's going on, Warriors? So this is your boy Shin Ryu, and it is time for another Street Fighter Duel content. Okay, what we're gonna be discussing here is gonna be a little bit um not too major because everyone could have been up to date, but I found out myself that I wasn't, uh, and this is the first time I actually had to share try codes without actually you know uh, doing it live you know during my uploads, right? So um the uh, if you guys are members of the Street Fighter Duel chat on discord was pretty much announced where every single code that is currently active having posted and i'm quite familiar with some of the codes that i've shared with you guys because the same codes i've actually used myself and i wasn't certain that you know there was any code at all that would have missed at all but apparently there were two codes that i saw that didn't actually you know resonate with my use in the past and i tried both of them and they actually did work and these codes are both 300 gems each so that should get you a free 600 gems i will mention the codes here because i know most of the time when i've actually shared codes you guys who have ridden with me driven with me you know you know rolled with me from the very beginning have been you know um should be you know up to date with the codes at the very least because you would have either have used them and would have been able to be sure that you know you have used them or you could have discovered them while on the video as well so i'm going to let you know what these codes are however like i said before i've already used them because i need to make sure that i wasn't you know posting something that was already available and i will go right ahead and post every single code that was included on the discord channel as well so that in case you want to try your luck and see if there's any code that would work for you beyond even the ones i'm going to show up you can try them as well but i'm sure i've sort of covered most of the actually the ones that are like birthdays you can be rest assured that they've been covered there are a few others that are kind of like out of nowhere they kind of like you know just existed but there are only just two of them in my own notebook so here's the first code here the first one is feast day i don't know how i missed that at all i can't remember when it was actually announced it may have been something that has to do with you know um thanksgiving or something I can't remember maybe i wanted to post it and then time passed with my bad attitude and i sort of forgot to share it out but this one would get you 300 gems like i said before i already used this it's not going to work for me anymore because i had to make sure i tested the code out so and don't forget like i said forget the fact that i'm actually typing it you know in caps where necessary it's pretty much you know um has no you know it's, it's not case sensitive at all so don't worry about that and then the other one is sfd friday this was the other one that i discovered that i hadn't used at all it's under 300 gems this should get you under 600 gems and if you guys were in this situation like myself where you had not used the initial 400 gems that i posted earlier in today's video then you can be sure that you at least have 1k worth of gems by the end of today at the very least because that happened for me right so this is the second one as well but like i said before i've used it before so it shouldn't work for me anymore but this i'm, I'm going to post all the codes down in the comment section below so that, in like rather in the description below so that you guys can actually try each of the codes for yourself and ensure that you are up to date with that uh without further with, with that actually being sorted out you know uh, what else did i actually want to discuss not something you know too major but there's something i actually want to discuss in the buddha battle here it's it's kind of funny because i noticed that they've added you know if you go to the aid here you notice that we now have um cami and vega on the team lineup okay but the ironic thing is that cami and vega also appears on a team where we have Go Miguel at Ken, all right? And what has been happening, if you notice from the initial matchup, we also have a similar situation in, you know, um, Summer Ibuki as well as Summer Elena, right? But what am I talking about here? This is a case where we're looking at the possibility of not having your full super combo completed if the wrong lineup has been placed. This was a mistake when I actually voted for this. I was trying to tap it and I kind of hit vote by an error and of course if you vote much you can vote again but what am i talking about here we have two passive attackers or you know aggressors and then with damage dealers you know in a lineup and what that typically means is that they both have to share one slot that is not going to be available for the c3 now if you notice the c3 in most of these combats are typically the strongest or the most powerful moves that 
a character would normally have that's typically the trend for every character most of the most powerful moves are c3s if they're assassins or they are you know you know or attackers right the only difference would be something like every you where for example you don't have any you just have to make sure that a character is killed to unleash the raging demon which is pretty much their c3 i mean which is pretty much not one of these combo moves it's a trigger move but doesn't belong in the combo it's pretty much triggered by you taking out you know another character just like every mad reuse you know uh, Metsu Adoken where he would if he takes someone out he keeps on spamming that except obviously it's not a spam for every you which I wish it was because I'd not see take out bring him take another but because that move is really powerful obviously that makes sense but typically unless you're dealing with characters that don't have a C3 right you're going to be finding that kind of situation where you need that C3 to complete the combo but if you have two characters like you know, uh, Kami and Vega, as well as Go Magala can. What's going to happen is, regardless of whoever you choose to trigger the move, so let's go right ahead and if you want to start with, you know, Elena, you know, only he can attack. And then Elena needs to have a C2 to do her attack. And none of these two guys are active dealers, so they can't do nothing. So that's last combo becomes empty now let's look at how we worked out in this round here i believe you should be able to see the battle can you see details of the battle at all or oh, you can't oh okay i don't know why i thought you could see details but pretty much what is happening here is that because of that c4 is not being used that gives a team like this team that doesn't have that kind of whatever to capitalize now what would happen if we had a gomagala and you know and uh Kami and Vega versus you know um some Elena and some Ibuki pairing up that's might be a tricky depending on who uh, are the other team composition of the remaining lineup but if you see a team like that where you just kind of see these two paired of course who knows maybe one of them they'll probably win it but be rest assured that the lack of the C3 is going to give the opposing team the edge to win these Buddha battles, right? So, a Buddha battle. So, that was just what I wanted to clear out there. I actually forgot about that aspect for anything else. The next thing that I want to talk about is progress with building team lineups right now. It's already getting very, very tricky and very, very confusing. And which is why even though some people are thinking, hey, no one, no new characters, what's going on? This is the best period to sort of focus on who you guys are working on right now. The only problem is this rumor of, you know, the 50% character that's coming up is definitely costing a bit of a, you know, stall towards building your existing lineups. But what you want to do is, at the worst case scenario, you're just holding yourself back. Now, you know, if I look at the lineup that I'm trying to do with here, one character that I was always interested in in boosting up with Sagat. But the problem is with Sagat, um, I've had a higher priority that I had to pick between him and Sagat. And that person had been, you guys already know it, Summer Ibuki. This is a character that I'm sort of putting my mind on right now. Uh, and the only reason why she's not getting picked up from this chest here um where are we where are we at where's the chest over there gonna be yeah from this chest here because i'm sure she's an option you can see over there is because of not the definition tickets is because of my goal to work on this character i just want to get this guy to ss and he's one character short so i might as well just get him to ss and just forget about it that is the one aspect of it but that's not pretty much that's not all the other aspect which is kind of partially is what is going to come about when we when it comes to figuring out this you know 50 percent character we need to make sure that we are ready right and like i said it's going to depend on who the character is before i totally decide i'm going to decide to go for the nation or i'm just going to just bust it and just go right there for my gen right but the last aspect of this so that's also got me all confused and blown up is this one right here okay this is an opportunity for me to continue working on my Sagat, but he's on S and there are no duplicates, so I can't get him to S 
plus anytime soon. I'm just going to just get have a Sagat and a spare one, my S Sagat and a spare one if I go for him. But the other thing is we have to really, really take advantage of this 24 hour, you know, um, experience, you know, fighter experience stuff, right? And this is one of the few exchanges that gives you access to this 24 hours. As you can see, the limit is typically 10. I already exhausted five. I've been in limbo as to do I want to go right ahead and just get Sagat and be stalled, or do I actually want to go right ahead and try and make sure that I have more materials to boost my team? The worst, the best case scenario, I'm just going to be able to boost an extra level. But would that extra level be enough for me to ignore? Sagat, all right, that's where the complication is. It's definitely not where I discussed it's not going to be um, um, divine rose because I'm focusing on regular rose already and I don't want to get and I know that it's going to be a long time for I can actually get her, so I might as well not keep my hopes up by just having an extra copy that would want to tempt me to go further. I just have that the A copy so far, so that's been what that, but we we have a chance to like you know get more of this we have a chance to also go further and try and get more of this because this is really really scarce to soul core if you look at my Avery right now because he's one person i'm not giving anybody else so core until he's absolutely maxed out and we're only just on level seven this stuff is mighty expensive so um I don't know what I want to do in this case, but I want to know what you guys are doing already with regards to the exchange tent. Did you guys just get one of the special characters and then just move on with whatever balance that you have left? Did you guys go for order items, you know, that you felt was higher priority for you guys? Or did you guys do funny moves like go for one of these characters that I would always, always advise against? And maybe you had strong justification for doing those. Let me know in the comments below. Um, otherwise, you know, the primary reason for the video today was to let you guys know that there are more codes out there for you guys to try out. Um, I will once again put it in the comments for you to guys to try every single one of the codes. I will prioritize the two that I believe are the ones I have never used before. I'll put them on top first so you can try and get those 600 gems. And then you can try out the other ones if you don't recognize the codes. If you recognize them, then of course you can always skip them. And then you can always try a lock to go through all the codes again to make sure that at least you don't miss out any codes and you're up to date with the bonus gems that have been the develop the devs have been giving us. Otherwise, it's kind of been really quiet. It's been quiet. It's just kind of like BAU as usual when it comes to Fighter Universe. Um, doing your bounties, doing your missions, nothing else to really, really talk about, really. And honestly, you know, Pat of Trials is what I need to go through next. And maybe I can finally go ahead and through the last bit of inverse world because i've been really lazy on this i'm pretty sure every one of you have completed this if you haven't you need to complete this because you get nice rewards just by going through at least minimum of 36 or is it 32 that's a bare minimum oh uh, no i don't want to go ahead and do that let's see oh uh, let's go to the challenge here yeah 36 to get everything so if i have 32 i still have like what uh 180 words of fate gems to actually pick up wherever i have not gone further enough but otherwise it's been your boy shinryu let me know what you guys think uh put your comments below let me know what you guys are uh, have in mind as well and there is something else that i believe i wanted to talk about as well uh, i'm trying to research the instance this particular instance of the where is it over here is it called substitute okay you gotta awaken first of all yeah this substitute how this thing actually works because right now for some reason i'm not having any character coming up here and if i read the comment it says a certain number of duplicates can be expended to substitute for a certain static fighter the fighter to be expended must be of a grade downgrade downgrade must be first performed on the fighters highest of grades fighters of highest higher grades some blah blah whatever uh but there's something there's reason why i'm actually looking at this is because this is supposed to be a way if you have like master inferno characters you want to work on getting a duplicate you probably have to combine three you know to get one of those but i have no idea how this stuff is working so far so say for example i hit her you see you need three of this these gems to actually get her in but even if I try to go for someone as regular as say for example him, you need two 
which is typically normal. I, I need to know why how it works because nothing is popping up here at the moment. Uh, but it's been unlocked. The substitute has been unlocked. For those who have been playing it for the longest time, you guys probably already have your substitute unlocked as well. Let me know what you guys think already. I'm still researching it. Once I have it to the absolute T, um, I will release a video on this to sort of explain how this works properly. Uh, but of course, I'm going to need to have examples so that I can actually showcase it easily for you guys. Otherwise, thanks again for your patience, for tuning in. Uh, it's a boy Shin with you. Make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Cheers.